Hello guys, uh, welcome back. I am uh, on my way to Casey's for a shakeout run. I got all the accessories fit up on this bike now. I got the crash guards, I got the uh, uh, rack for the bags, I got the bark busters, uh, hand guards, I got a USB set up here to charge my phone and uh, what else? Uh, I will, uh, you know, take you around and show you what other things I added. But these are the main things. Uh, and then I had a pigtail for uh, <coughs> the battery charging, battery tender. So uh, I think I'm all set now to go off-road. I already did a off-road uh, run last weekend, and that was you can see the bike is uh, dirty from that. So. Uh, this bike is a hoot off-road, <laughs> unbelievable. You know, uh, in my GSA, I used to be uh, uh, careful about the line I pick and everything. Here, I can just, you know, just go without even thinking. I can just go anywhere. So it was such a blast. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get it on video, but uh, you know, I will, uh, you know, do that route again. Uh, that's the usual route I have. And uh, actually, because uh, we didn't have too much rain in the last month or so, so some of the stretch, uh, in fact, uh, was very sandy. <laughs> so that was interesting. And uh, with a bike like this, it was just, uh, you know, I didn't even bother. And I was just uh, doing my thing on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, for the first off-road run with, uh, you know, Graham and uh, Jim, uh, I was just getting the hang of it in terms of... Uh, you know how to uh, stand up and ride uh, where I need to hold the bike and things like that so uh, I'll go on my own and then so I can you know practice some more but uh, I think it was it was a blast so this bike here so it's a hoot it is just uh, unbelievable uh, in terms of uh, you know the freeway speeds yeah, you can go about, I went about uh, 70 on the freeway the other day to uh, the meetup and uh, that's not bad, uh, but I think that's uh, pretty much uh, where you need to, you know, hang it with on this bike. Uh, although, uh, if you see, uh, I'm just going up to about 7000 RPM, I'm not going uh, past that, but anyway, I don't like to push the bike uh, too much, so probably uh, 70 is the max I would uh, anyway. Uh, you know, uh, cruise at even in, uh, you know if I'm going on a long trip and stuff. Uh, so uh, you know, other than that, uh, yeah. So I've been just having a blast on this bike. Uh, so uh, uh, so today I got all the uh, racks uh, set up. So basically, what I did, these crash guards are from uh, T-Rex Racing from here in Dallas. Uh, it's a pretty good looking one. I like this over uh, the other ones because of the shape of it and uh, they also have a skid plate which I can uh, you know uh, put on uh, later on because the bike right now has uh, a plastic skid plate. I'm just waiting for it to uh, you know break and then I will replace that. I thought I might need risers on it but uh, you know I mean I, an off-road it was not too bad. I was able to manage uh, it, it wasn't too too much of a hassle. I got the quad lock fixed, and you know, unfortunately, I threw off my car quad lock. Uh, you know, the spacers and stuff. So I had to find it for my friend because this bar is a seven eight uh, inch bar uh, compared to my GSA, which was I think a one quarter. Uh, so that is set up. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, then uh, I got my usual bag in the back. The seat is, uh, you know, I might have to uh, uh, try to, uh, you know, scoop it out. I'll show you uh, because the back seat, the, uh, the pillion seat kind of juts out, uh, you know, the edge juts out a little bit. So you can't really slide back if you want to. So I might make it like a rally seat so I can just slide back and forth. The height, uh, this bike is actually taller than my GSA. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's it's. It's not too bad with my uh, off-road boots. I'm able to uh, comfortably, you know, keep my feet down. Uh, initially, I was looking for a low seat. I was thinking maybe I should get a low seat, but uh, I'm able to manage with this. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And uh, other than that, I'm just trying to see what else uh, 
needed here. Uh, I talked about the risers. Then, uh, uh, yeah, other than that, yeah, it's it's fine. I think off-road BDRs and stuff. I'm like, man, this feels so comfortable. You know, there's no fear. You know, of any of dropping the bike or of you know trying to see whether you can go on this road or not or anything you know it's just unbelievably light compared to the gsa so that was my goal uh, for doing the switcheroo on the bikes i wanted something uh, which i can uh, you know just take off road if i have to go solo on it so i think uh, that is pretty good and also this uh, uh windscreen here i thought man what the heck is that you know i thought what will it even work but you know what is it called uh, was it Bernoulli's theorem or I, mean, I don't remember which uh, which thing it was about airflow man <laughs> I gotta go brush up my physics but uh, man you know the way this thing goes up I barely get any wind on my face uh, you know on my uh, uh, you know on my shoulders or anything because the wind just kind of nicely goes up and uh, it, it actually is so good that uh, you know I can't even believe it's that good so uh, I might just get a you know just slightly taller extension for this just because if I have to do you know long rides uh, on uh, you know then it might get a little little tiring I think I just maybe need a little more comfort on it so uh, I might just add keep that but just add it only uh, if I have to go on a long trip other than that uh, you know this bike is uh, totally set for me right now I will uh, stop and uh, show you guys uh, the specs and the different things and I love the look <laughs> I really didn't want a dirt bike because uh, you know the dirt bikes look really dorky and uh, I just hated that I want a regular looking bike and this is just skinnier but it's it's really you know it looks really like a normal bike uh, and uh, I tried the middleweight uh, the middleweight really is useless there's neither here nor there you know you're still lugging about 400 pounds of no about nearly 470 pounds and uh, man I can I can take my GSA and stuff at the middleweight uh, you know uh, so I, it really doesn't uh, you know add any advantage for me uh, so uh, so I just uh, you know I'm just <laughs> in love with this bike uh, you know, I was never a speed junkie, you know, I could, I wanted to learn the skill to ride fast, so that's what I still keep working on, and I think, uh, you know, this bike is, uh, without any electronics, it's actually going to be even more fun, because I'm, I'm totally, I won't say I'm anti-electronics, but, you know, I like the uh, challenge of uh, learning uh, to ride a bike. Uh, you know, in, in its uh, pure form. So, uh, same thing with my cars. I like the stick shift, and I've been always driving a stick shift for the last uh, probably 30 plus years. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so this is, I'm so excited about this bike. Uh, yep, so we are reaching Casey here. <coughs> I'll do a quick walk around and I will, uh, you know, uh, show you guys uh, all the different aspects uh, of this bike. Uh, in close quarters so uh, but yeah it's been let me just go right here do the walk around here Okay. Okay, this is how it is. Uh, let me get my phone and then I show you guys. Okay, there you go guys. Uh, this is the bike. <laughs> this is gorgeous. The first thing I did was uh, got the handlebars up a little bit because it was too far down below. So I wanted to, you know, uh, and that helped me with the off-road part beautifully and then I got these bark busters here I wanted uh, 
for off-road to the lever to go down a little bit so I kind of kept the bark buster slightly higher so that it gets some protection there and these crash bars you know these are really good I really love these guys uh, T-Rex racing so it goes you know it's got one connection here and then uh, it connects with each other there you know I wasn't able to connect that properly and I <laughs> Uh, kind of messed up the screw here but uh, goes around here you know the LED lights and then it goes down here and then it connects here so this is uh, pretty solid I haven't dropped it you know this is just scratches by trying to fix it <laughs> trying to install it and the skid plate you know this is just plastic so it's, it's, it's pretty useless I think uh, but uh, Looks like there are four, a couple of screws missing here. Man, what is that for? Huh? I don't know what that was for. Anyway, and then for the brake, <laughs> brake, I added this rubber because I felt it was too low. And then I removed this rubber pad uh, here. This is useless. Uh, and uh, and other than that, uh, yeah. So the problem here is what I'm thinking. Uh, this is what is touching here. And uh, this might, this is getting a little heat on from the, from the silencer, so I might have to have a heat pad or something here, I think. That might be a problem, I have to fix that. But other than that, the racks are pretty awesome. Uh, so these are my old Tusk bags. I think I can just use them here. And then these racks are pretty solid. Uh, and they have just two boards here, uh, one board here, one board here, and then these guys here, which connect them. So that seems my luggage setup, and this is my top case, a uh, couple of Walmart box in here. And that's going to remain, you know, for my regular use. And uh, uh, what else did I do here? Uh, that's pretty much what I got. That, and I got a. You know the USB port I uh, ran it through here and then took it down there and then got it out here and connected it up, like a pigtail from the battery here and plugged it in here and then on this side I think uh, I have the pigtail here for my battery tender so I got that for the battery so uh, that's what I have here on this bike so it's all set up now good to go for uh, full-fledged BDR so uh, that's what it is I'm just loving this I still need to you know do some chain maintenance and stuff but <laughs> I don't know I got to get used to it but that's the uh, you can't get a shaft drive bike for for a you know, 300 <laughs> cc bike a shaft drive is gonna be a little difficult to get I guess but uh, anyway that's the bike and I uh, hope you guys uh, like it. I'm going to have some lot of fun with this, a lot of adventures here. So I will catch you guys uh, later on the next ride. Bye.